Good morning, Aries. I'm here with a general reading, a general reading for the sign of Aries. So anyone with Aries strongly in their chart could resonate with this message. My friends, I will forgo the, the, the warnings that I usually give and just reach out and remind every viewer um, of the power that they have within them, the beauty of their heart space, and the, the powerful works that um, can be accomplished when we connect in with our own spiritual teams. All right, let's go ahead and see what is here for the sign of Aries. My beautiful friends, I welcome you to this space. The world does seem like a much smaller place here, does it not? What is currently happening for this group of Aries? What is currently happening for this group of Aries, please? What is currently happening for this group of Aries? What is currently happening for this group of Aries, please? What is currently happening? What is currently happening for this group of Aries? What is currently happening? There's a lot happening here, Aries. There's a lot happening here. We're going to turn this card upright. It tells me that for some of you, this new reality is not quite here yet, but you're beginning to see signs of it. You're beginning to see beautiful signs of it here. Let me get these, these energies out and we'll get right into this reading. What is the upcoming energy that Aries will be stepping into, Spirit? What is the upcoming energy that Aries will be stepping into? What is the upcoming energy that Aries will be stepping into, please? What is the upcoming energy, please? What is the upcoming energy? What is the upcoming energy, please? What is the upcoming energy? What is the upcoming energy? energy. Right. And guidance for Aries, please. Guidance for Aries. Guidance for Aries, please. All right, let's go ahead and begin looking at these current energies for the sign of Aries. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and when the Ace of Pentacles came in, it came in at a slant, which tells me that this group of Aries are working um, very hard and very passionately to bring in a new reality. Um, when we work to bring in new realities, that tells me that there has been um, a major transformation in your life, some new kind of understanding about your own belief system, about your own um, strength and power and capacities within yourself, and you are going through, through some kind of um, of a, of a transformation here because we're seeing real changes come in. All right. And what that tells me when we see the eight of pentacles pop its head and the page of pentacles, um, definitely here in, in the current energy that tells me that there's been some kind of enlightenment, some kind of major changes that have come in for you where you're working, um, with your spiritual teams, um, to create, um, a new reality. And when I say reality, this, is a, a serious word which which um, represents real changes not an idea not new passion well there's passion here because you've needed passion to create this new reality but this is real um this is real something you can hold touch feel experience something happening and you're beginning to see indications that it is coming in for you you're beginning to see maybe um increases in revenue Perhaps you're being connected. Um, you are being connected in with new job opportunities that bring you um, new passion, new excitement into your journey. Um, perhaps you have just gotten some really good news of, of something happening that is um, something that you've been waiting for for a very long time. And now something has actually came to pass. Something has actually happened. Um, and you've received um, word of this, and, and this is very exciting for you because you do have the Knight of Wands here. So there is passion here, 
um, in this in this spread in this current energy. We do have the Four of Pentacles here, which is an energy of safety and security. Um, the Seven of Cups is over the top of the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, which tells me that you're moving forward out of the feeling of safety and security, and you're not quite sure where you're going. There's a feeling of apprehension here, Aries, but that's pretty typical when we move into um, a new experience. We, we often have to let go of our fears and our worries um, because many of us, when we're in the Four of Pentacles, we have been in the Four of Pentacles um, maybe for some time because that is a very safe and secure feeling. Um, the Four of Pentacles an energy of, of having just enough having enough and kind of holding on to it and and spending it wisely. If you're talking about money here, um, you'd be spending it very wisely. You would be making sure that um, you didn't have any debt or you're working through your debt very carefully. Um, you just have enough to pay your bills and, and buy some food and and um, but but not a whole lot of extra, not a whole lot of extra, maybe living month to month, um, barely scraping by, but you have had enough. And for some of you, um, this feeling of having enough is better than where you have been, where you haven't had enough, where you have had to accrue debt or you have had to live in in the cold or in the damp. Um, so, so for many of us, when we reach the Four of Pentacles, it is a very warm energy. It feels very safe, but it's very hard to live there for a long period of time because um, it can it can become very tiring to to never feel. Um, to never feel, give, you, to never find a break for yourself, to never have a, an extra cushion. Um, so eventually we are urged to move out of the Four of Pentacles, and I see you doing that. Um, there is some apprehension here and, and some choices and, and some confusion about this, but, but I do um, see you in the Knight of Wands energy. This is your true energy, your passionate energy your fiery energy here, and we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming in, which tells me that there's new momentum, new success, new fortune. Um, this is starting to build now for you, Aries. This For this group of Aries, this, this um, is starting to build the success, the potential, the, the indications of more stability, more revenue generation. Um, it, it's coming in for you. Of course, there are energies of insecurity, energies of confusion, uh, maybe some decisions that you're having to make. But ultimately here, we have you in your true energy, the Knight of Wands. So I think that you're being quite true to yourself. You're using your energy in a way that's natural for you. And you're moving forward into something and you're, you're seeing new momentum and indications of success here with, here with the Wheel of Fortune. So um, you're in a really good place. You're in a really good place, Aries. Um, let's go ahead and move forward into the next incoming energies now, into the next incoming energies for the sign of Aries. The next incoming energies, let's see what's here for you. We have the Knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the World. Five of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Let's go ahead and all right, give me a second here to get into these energies. There is an energy of love here. So whatever you're doing, however you're moving or whatever's coming towards you, I do feel like this is you here. This is you moving forward. Um, you moving forward into your future. I do feel strongly that this is you moving forward in an energy of love into your future. Um, you could have some apprehension about this. Um, you could have some, you know, you could have some, um, <clears throat> fears of vulnerability here with the Knight of Cups, uh, but you're you're really uh, moving forward in an energy of love. Uh, you have really put in the work to um, focus on what brings you fulfillment and joy, and you're stepping forward in that energy. And sometimes when we do this, we can feel vulnerable. We can feel somewhat shy. 
I don't care what you have in your chart. We're not all Aries. You, you have many different um, energies within you. So um, there is a feeling of vulnerability, a feeling of shyness here. Um, but, but you're working hard on this. You're focusing on it. You're not giving up. You're not getting distracted with anyone else's desires or anyone else's platform, anyone else's drama. You're staying very much um, involved in this in the next seven to ten days. Um, you know, you're, you're beginning to have a much clearer understanding of the potential here, of the potential nature here, of the new reality and what it could truly mean for you because there's a lot of pentacles energy here, Aries. There's a lot of pentacles. There's a lot of earth energy. This is about living in the third dimension. This is about living a human experience. This is about coming down out of the ethers, out of meditation, out of spiritual work and putting it to practice in real life to begin to change uh, the reality to begin to change your human experience. And for many of you, this has to do with financial security, financial abundance, enjoyment of the human experience, and comfort and warmth and stability. And whatever this is that you're doing, it does bring you quite a lot of, of hope. And that hope, um, that, that optimism for the future really is helping to drive you into staying very focused on what your goals are um, and, and where you're moving now with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Again, there is a feeling of tentative, tentativeness here. Um, that is normal. And that is something that I see you working through. Um, you're stepping into the fear. You're stepping into the tentative nature of starting something new. Oh, and then we have the world energy here. Definitely a new start for you. Along with it comes endings, endings of old patterns, endings of old behaviors, endings of old ways of thinking, because you're stepping into a whole new world here um, with the world energy, a whole new world. And um, I don't think you're letting anything really stop you from this or distract you from this. Um, very powerful energy here with the Knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles and the world energy. Powerful. It's almost like the energy of the chariot, is it not? It's like the energy of the chariot. Um, just given it, given to us in a way that it can be explained. Um, we do have the five of cups with the nine of wands. So this is telling me of, of what you're stepping into with the five of cups. You've, you've tried new things before. Um, you have started new things before. You have been through experiences that have, um, created lessons, which sometimes you can think of as failures. Other times you realize that they're truly the most beautiful of lessons, of lessons. Um, the nine of wands. So, so I'm explaining what the nine of wands and the five of cups is um, currently. This is a bunched energy. So sometimes the energies bunch, um, and we're seeing that here. Um, it, it's what as you're stepping so powerfully into this new experience, you will be fighting through um, some defensive natures. You will be um, fighting through fear and um, working with the ego, working with that part of yourself that is. The warning system within you, um, as you move into a new experience, the ego will need to also learn how to be a friend. The ego will also learn how to live and think in a more abundant way, in a more empowered way. This is part of our own enlightenment and our own self growth is to begin to focus and intentionally change the thoughts within our own self, the ego within our own self and work to transmute that just as we're transmuting our own human experience and transmuting the, the health within us and the health within our outer environments, we are also working to transmute the ego, the thought system, um, the warning systems that are within us because you're moving out of an old cycle um, where you have learned a lot of lessons in that old cycle. Um, you're moving into a new cycle now where you will have new lessons to learn, new experiences to move through and the ego will move with you. And the ego is a very important part of our journey, that inner voice. It's a very important part of our journey. And as you move into the new level, it will begin, begin to transmute, think differently, think more abundantly, think more in an empowered way, um, because that is part of the enlightening process. That is part of the ascension process. And we see it here very clearly and it is to be expected. It is part of the journey. Um, and I can clearly see it reflected here. Um, it's not anything that will stop you. It's not anything that will um, change your course. It is just something that we step into um, as we open new doorways. We step hesitantly into new experiences, into new rooms full of people, 
right? It is hard for many of us to step into new rooms full of people, new rooms through, through full of experiences, and we do have to step through the ego when we do that. We do have to realize that new people will be looking at us, new people will be seeing us, we will be stepping forward in different clothes and different um, with different perspectives, with different mindsets, and other people will be seeing us, will be um, gaining their own insights from us. And in doing so, um, in stepping through new, new doorways, we have to allow that curtain to drop so that people can see who we are. And when we do that, that can um, be uh, cause us some difficulty, but I don't see it stopping you with this powerful eight stepping into this new beginning with this love energy. And when we step forward into new rooms, into new experiences, um, into new lives with the energy of love, um, and we know that whenever we step out into a new place or wherever we go in the world, um, the energy that we project out from our inner selves is, is most always mirrored back to us. And so we step into new, when we step into new rooms, into new experiences and new situations in the energy of love with the Knight of Cups, that will be mirrored back to you, my friends. That will be mirrored back to you um, as the law of the universe. So let's go ahead now and look at guidance. Let's go ahead and look at what this guidance is. We have the King of Pentacles coming in. We have Death Energy. And we have the Three of Cups. So the guidance here is for you to continue to see the big picture, for you to continue to take steps in your life to bring in um, comfort into your life. This can be a lot of work. The King of Pentacles works very hard. The King of Pentacles works very hard to um, understand his holdings, to understand his property, to understand his money. And he makes decisions and takes action to um, find abundance within that, to care for his material items, to work to gain more material items, to bring in wealth and safety and security for himself. So he is out doing a lot of work. He's working hard. And look how the King of Pentacles goes directly on top of the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this is an earth energy. This could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, but but many of, for many of you, this is you in this energy um, taking action in your life to help to bring um, maintenance, um, abundance, and um, proper care into your third dimensional space, which is your home, your money, your work, um, your your um, material possessions, that kind of energy. There is a transformation energy here, which I did feel that, a transformation energy, um, Scorpio energy. Um, there is a Three of Cups energy. So there is, um, and the Three of Cups energy is over the top of the Five of Cups with the Nine of Wands. So this is an energy of, of, of um, complexity, of a lot of people, a lot of people with a lot of different platforms and a lot of different opinions and and a lot of different agendas, and there could be some messiness here, being pulled and distracted and and by other people and other other issues, and and just being caught up in a whirlwind of hum, human um, stories, and it's it feels messy. Um, it feels messy. So some of you could have come out of trauma within your relationships, within intimate couples, trauma within intimate couples, um, betrayals, um, gossip, and, um, people being in, in spaces in their lives of unhealthiness and um, destruction within their lives. So um, when we're in these kind of lower vibe energies, or should I just say, um, energies that um, aren't always in moderation, aren't always in a healthy space where people can get caught up in situations that get the best of them, um, can quickly get caught up in addictions of, on substance or um, lack of moderation or obsession or, or any of the behaviors that we all can get caught up in that create devastation in our lives, um, there is a transformation here. And there is um, awareness of that from, from the guidance that's coming forward, a reminder of all that you've been through, Aries, um, a reminder of the messiness that you have climbed out of, um, the new environment in which you're in, 
um, reminding you of the hard work that you've done. And the time is now for you to, to really capitalize on this focus that you have, this drive that you have, and this new beautiful um, situation that's coming in for you to begin to stabilize, to begin to um, experience a financially secure future and um, feel safe and stable within your home, within your workplace, and with your own money and your own financial stability. All right, um, Aries, I am going to be moving into the extended now. Um, I do want to look into the Knight of Cups energy just a little bit more. When I, in the extended, I'm going, to, I'm going to go down into rabbit holes, my friends. Uh, when I say that, I mean I'm going to dig very deeply into some of these energies and see what else I can pull out. And then once I'm done with that, I will look at the people who are around you and their intentions. All right, so those are the two main um, things I will be doing in the extended. So I'm going to be looking at this Knight of Cups energy. I'm going to be looking at this King of Pentacles. Perhaps for some of you, there is a King of Pentacles here that you've had a transformation with that was like a third party kind of an experience. I am going to go into the world energy to see what this new um, experience is for you. Um, so I am going to be looking at the Knight of Cups. I'm going to be looking at the world. I'm going to be looking at the King of Pentacles. Um, and let's see if there's any other energies that I want to look into here. Um, this Wheel of Fortune, I'm very curious about this Wheel of Fortune and also this Ace of Pentacles. So I will be going into a few energies. I go deep into the energies. Um, so it, it's really using a different skill and I will take a little bit of a break before I do that. Um, so for those of you that are here that, that are satisfied with this reading, I truly am happy with that. That is the point of this. Um, I wish you all the best. Um, for those of you who, who enjoy the rabbit holes, um, feel free to move with me over to the extended reading. I will see you there in a few minutes. Thank you very much, Aries. I wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. <music> 